Starting my warm up for run number two. Didn't want to do it because it's raining. It's fucking cold. No, it's all right. Get it done. I was thinking, oh, you could do it tomorrow. But then I was like, nope. You got a schedule. It's not that hard. You just start. And then eventually you just walk and then you go into a run. So. About a, another minute for warming up and we'll get into it. Oh, a few runs done, a few rounds, I mean. Um, well, this is harder than the other day. A little bit of knee pain. I knew that would happen. But that's all right. You just keep going. It sucks, but you know, just be. Just be here doing this. Don't think about all the other stuff I could be doing, should be doing. I guess I should be doing this, but you know, just fucking empty your mind. Mind over matter. I think uh, people are more mentally strong than they give themselves credit for. And I don't think a lot of people reach their full potential because their mind gives up before their body does so that's what we're doing we're putting that to the test right real life shit putting it to the test see if i can run 50 miles on a fucking trail and i know it can a lot of people do it why not me so new round just a second adios oh yeah so wait in today at 219 pounds of beefcake. Oh my god. I had no idea I weighed that much because I never weigh myself. I'm like, you know, I don't really care about how much I weigh, really. But that kind of opened up my eyes about how much I'm carrying around while I run. Oh, probably, probably drop a little bit of fat. I don't got a ton, but I'm sure some, that'll be good. Oh, this sucks. Oh, we're done. We did the damn thing. Look at that. One thing I did learn is it was raining today, so I didn't go to the trails like I usually do because it was, you know, had a little bit more give, I feel. Right on this concrete. It sucked. It's not as forgiving. Definitely not as forgiving. But came out here and I didn't I didn't want to do the damn thing. I was talking myself out of it, but just like anything, I mean a lot of you people know. Just get out there. You start doing something, going through some movement. Your workout's better. Afterward you feel better. You accomplish something throughout the day. I mean, this is, this weather right now is perfect for just cuddling up and watching a movie and being comfortable, right? But, nope. We got, we got shit to do. So, so is my workhorse word. I need to stop using that as much. And if I voice that here, I will not be using it as much. Because y'all need to call me out when you hear me say, so, so, um, so. Workhorse words. We use them to fill the gaps in our speech. So, there we go. See? Did it again. Damn. Damn it, damn it. The next workhorse word, workhorse word is going to be damn it. Just got to think more clear on what I want to deliver and not use my workhorse words as much. So, so, so there we go. God, that's going to be difficult. You gotta write these down. There's a whole whole process you gotta go through. All right, you're probably bored to listen to me talk about workhorse words and such. I'm gonna cool off. Probably hit the ice bath, the sauna. Do a few other things. Study some anatomy. Remember, biceps femoris. It's the muscle of the week. Have a great day. If you made it this far, leave me a like. 
show me a little inspiration for making these little these little things if you got a nugget from it have a great day